families welcome back thank you so much for clicking on this video this video is about niger there's a lot of activities infrastructure that is going on in niger it's a quick update on arena that i've shared a few days ago or maybe a week that they are working on because there's a culture activity that takes place ending of this month every december and I think this is the first time for a long time. That's why the arena is not good. I will look for the video and link it at the comment section for you. It was bad, so they are repairing it very fast before the end of this month. Of youth, culture, arts and sports was in Dossal this morning, where he paid a visit to the Salma Daani Arena. He then met with members of the organizing committee for the 45th edition of the National Sand, scheduled to open on December 20th. Ali Hashimu and Harris, or Garba. The meeting brought together the members of the regional organizing committee for the 45th edition of the National Sabre, Don Duso, the historic and legendary city of Khoi, and the central executives of the Minister of Youth, Culture, Arts and Sports, Colonel Major Abderrahman Amadou. The aim was to take stock of preparations and, above all, to give the necessary instructions for the event to run smoothly. What kind of sports event will war host in Niger? With regard to the visit to the Queen Maani premises, the rehabilitation and renovation work is generally satisfactory, and those in charge of the work have reaffirmed loud and clear to the Minister of Youth, Culture, Arts and Sports that all measures are being taken to complete the work within the required time frame. Another new feature of the work is the closure of the VIP areas with glass, a novelty that is sure to be a big hit. To inspire the creator of the technical team for the live broadcast of the 45th National Sabbath. Families have added another video to this one because today or yesterday was scientific day in one of one of the universities celebrated scientific day. This university is attached to um, a hospital. So the Minister for Health, Road, Transportation, all of them were there to celebrate this day. And after the celebration, they are expanding the hospital as well, attached to the university. So a lot is going on. I put them together, family enjoy them, and I'll be back. Thank you so much for your time. First Scientific Day of the Zend National Hospital. The event was chaired by the Minister of Public Health and Population. From social affairs to echoes with Kesu Mutari and Lauli Husseini. The amphitheatre of the Andrea Salif University in Zander was the setting for this important official ceremony, part of the third medical surgical day of the Andreas Half University in Zander, coupled with the first scientific days of the Zander National Hospital. A great ceremony of the utmost importance. As witnessed by the Chief Minister of Public Health and Professors. Researchers and practitioners in the health sciences were the main speakers at the opening ceremony. Of particular note was the speech by the managing director of the town of Zander. She acted under the mantle of the president of the organizing committee, the intervention of the dean of the Faculty of Sciences and Health, Professor Adamo Harisu the word of the representative of the ICRC delegation, the speech of Professor Abisha, President of the Scientific Council, and that of the General Manager of the Nation Hospital. Mr. Zander, a doctor, knows Major Omar Hamain. All were keen to salute his efforts as an important asset of Andre Salifu University and the partnership between the two institutions. For his part, the rector of Andre Salifu University, Professor Kadi Russellet, after hailing this event and the achievements of the arrester, the institution he heads and Zander's National Hospital, recalled that at the last aggregation medical examination in Karnakri, the Faculty of Sciences. Santi made 100%. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank our elders, our supervisors, our dear masters at the IAM for the support they have given our teacher researchers as they rise to the various Kameis grades. This is a real source of satisfaction for Andre Saleh University, for De Zander on the one hand, and for the health system on the other, as it strengthens the technical capacity of our hospital institutions at the Inder National Hospital and other health facilities in the region and the In full. I won't end here.
I would like once again to thank the CNSP and the government for their noble fight for national sovereignty, and the FDS for protecting people and their property at the price of ultimate sacrifice in many circumstances. For its part, the government of the Zandal region, Kona Rusuf in labor, expressed itself in these terms. Health and university education are truly linked, because we can say so. It's science that creates the means and materials of warfare, and science really has to ensure that we also have the remedies, the remedies to the security challenge so that we can be concerned and so that everything we're going to do in terms of social, economic and cultural development. May this be done under the best possible conditions. In his opening speech, the Minister of Public Health, Population and Social Affairs, after hailing this fine initiative by the Andre Salifu University and the Zinda National Hospital, urged everyone to be resilient and saw for the development of our beloved country, Naisha. I would like to congratulate you. And the encouragement? Our country's top officials. Foremost among them. His Excellency Obramanchini, President of the National Council for the Safeguarding of the Head of State Party and my congratulations from Prime Minister Ali Mademoiselle. I would also like to take this opportunity to congratulate the new graduates of the University of Zinda. It should be noted that several cultural activities, Talif or Zanda University, the ceremony was rich in learning and color. Also in the Zenda region and on the instructions of the head of state, the Ministry of Public Health visited the Zinda National Hospital. The aim of the visit was to inquire about the installation of two large units and their boomers, worth over 3 billion CFA francs, purchased with the state's own funds. We meet him at his motari. Construction and renovation work on two bunkers to house a two Tesla magnetic resonance imaging, MI, scanner and a 128 valve scanner is underway at the Zander National Hospital. A commendable, humanitarian gesture by our highest authorities to bring some relief to our hard-working populations, especially the sick who are often evacuated abroad. And all this at a high cost. The Minister of Public Health, Population and Social Affairs, Colonel Major Garba Hatimi, travelled to Zander National Hospital, accompanied by the regional governor, to see for himself the progress of the work. No Russo Labo of the Sultan of Damagaram, she has Jabakar, Sando Amaru, I remind you, these two large devices as well as the bunker will cost the sum of about 3 billion. From 5000000 CFA francs today. During this visit, I had the opportunity to see for myself and to assess the progress of the DDR bunker work with the technicians on site. The installation of these infrastructures. The latest generation is part of enhancing hospital technical facilities. One of the priorities of the President of the National Council for the Safeguarding of the Party and the Prime Minister, Head of Government, His Excellency Ali Mumal Zen, through the implementation of his government policy. This will undoubtedly enable the Hospital National Des Indias to improve its healthcare offer, to the great satisfaction of the people of the Indias religion. And the surrounding area? The completion of these projects will also reduce waiting times for imaging examinations, thereby increasing the hospital's ability to diagnose and treat illnesses more effectively. Construction of the MRI bunker began on October 26, 2024. The probable completion date is December 31, 2024. In the meantime, the first component, the shell and framing, is estimated to be 80% complete. The second component is a step that will not take long, according to the interim site manager. So all in all, we estimate that the deadline will be met in Challa, and there are also plans to increase the power of the power line. We're working on this with the specialists in the field. With regard to the scanner bunker, 44% of the rehabilitation work started on November 24, 2024. The minister also urged the various site managers to do their utmost to meet the deadline set for them. After visiting the banking site, the minister also took the opportunity to visit the the various sites for free screening for diabetes, hypertension and cataracts organized at the Zinda National Hospital for the region's population. Here too, the minister reaffirmed his commitment to the project. The highest authorities of our country for this noble cause and for the good of all. 
the minister. Thank you so much. They are creating job by creating all these works. So yes, it's win-win situation for the population and also for um, if for everyone, I would say, because building those houses, you can see amount of people that they have employed within a short time to do the job. And for them, we all know it's about quality. It's about time. It's about doing everything perfect. So they are always there to inspect it. They won't leave it till a year, two years. They will look and check it that everything is at the right time and quality of it. They won't wait till you finish before they will say knock it down and rebuild it. No, they will be checking. So congratulations to them. And I'm waiting to the end of the month to see the arena, what will happen because they mentioned the queen or king will be there. I think it's a big deal the way they were serious about it. So I'm waiting now. I hope you will wait for it as well. God bless you all. Credit to all LTM, my returning and my new families. Thank you so much. My VIPs, my kings and queens. And thank you, those who have joined the membership recently. I appreciate you. Thank you for trusting in me. Thank you so much for considering to be part of this journey. I'm so grateful. God bless you. If anything come my way, I'll be here to share it with you. If you are new here, my name is Mamri. Consider subscribing, like the video so people will know they are not only fighting for their independence or their freedom. They are also, you know, developing the countries and creating jobs at the same time and looking after the people as well. They are not just holding guns there. They are doing it all. Thank you, families. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.